Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to use uh, note editing in comparison to the standard material editor. Uh, so don't be afraid of uh, switching uh, from standard material editor to nodes. I'm using R18 right now and as you know R20 is coming up soon and uh, they're going to introduce uh, note editing for Cinema 4D and uh, it's going to change everything pretty much. Uh, but the workflow and uh, the basic idea is the same. Uh, so in this video, I'll try to show you that you know switching from standard material, which is this, you know you have your different channels, and node editing. I'm using Arno right now, which looks like this. It is going to be not not a big deal. I'm sure most of the people are using nodes right now anyway. Uh, but this video is for people that you know going to be switching from standard material to nodes and uh, the workflow and the idea is pretty much the same uh, so let me show you uh, the basic uh, workflow they used to and uh, hopefully uh, it's going to shine some light onto uh, what you can do and uh, how how it's going to simplify your life uh, and what you used to inside the material editor so as you know to get a complex result uh, let me just uh, delete this and uncheck all the other channels uh, so right now uh, we have uh, obviously our uh, color uh, channel, and you can switch to any color you want. But if you want to uh, make you know create anything complex inside one channel, you have to work with layers. And what layers basically does, if I add layer shader here inside my texture, everything turns black because it becomes like a Photoshop file as soon as you add a layer shader inside the texture. If I go inside, you can start dropping. Uh, images on top of here. You can drop different shaders and effects like your noise gradient for now and so on. Uh, so if I add for example this image everything comes back and this, this image if I go back replaces the purple color that we had here and uh, that's how you create complex materials. So if I go back to my layer and I want to add for example a color correct node I would just go inside my uh, effects and do a uh, human saturation and lightness for example and as you can see it becomes like a second layer and it goes on top of my uh, fireplace image and now I can play around with hue I can play around with saturation of my image and I can play around with my lightness and uh, this is pretty much two layers on top of each other if I want to add more stuff like a noise as you can see it goes on top and you have three things you have your show and hide you have your mix modes and then you have your opacity as you can see and uh, that's how you create different uh, you know complex materials so if I take this noise and multiply on top of my image we get this kind of result but the problem becomes of uh, taking all these textures in one channel and dragging them over to a different channel for example my uh, reflectance channel if I activate it uh, let me just clear this out as you can see uh, right now, I will have to recreate everything that I had before inside uh, this layer uh, shader, inside my uh, reflecting channel. Uh, so it's a real pain of uh, switching from channel to channel, and um, and it becomes a real pain when you try to uh, tweak your uh, shaders or your images. Uh, so obviously, you can copy this layer, copy, go inside my uh, reflecting channel and paste it. It's all fine and dandy. You go inside, you know, you still have your noise, you still have your hue and saturation, you still have your image. Obviously, we don't need the image, we don't need hue and saturation. And you want to keep the noise. And now I can play around how reflectance, how I reflect it, I want this noise to be, and so on. Uh, but if you want to uh, tweak, you have to switch from channel to channel, go inside your you know, layer, uh, switch it here, go back to your reflectance channel, go, go inside that layer and then switch it here. As you can see, it's really it's really slow and there's a lot of switching around uh, to create a complex material. Obviously right now I only have three things in here, a noise, human saturation, and, uh, and an image. And I only have one thing in here, which is noise. But imagine if you're trying to create something realistic and you have, you know, not two channels, you have diffusion, luminance, you know, you name it, and then you have, you know, five, six, seven images, textures inside each, each uh, layer. It becomes a real pain in the ass of um, you know tweaking your material, 
so hopefully you know how to use uh, the layer channel right now. Uh, but this uh, material editor is going to be outdated as soon as R20 comes out, and they're going to give us uh, nodes. Uh, but the basic idea translates onto nodes from uh, the basic material editor, so don't be afraid of switching or using either one. Uh, so let me show you inside the Arnold um, material editor, for example. Let me just create a material here. Create uh, Arnold, and then we have a standard surface which is like a standard material. It's the same thing of uh, double-clicking and creating a material using Cinema 4D materials. So if we go back uh, to our layer shader here inside the color channel, we have three things, image, hue saturation, and then we have our noise on top. So if I open note editing for uh, Arnold, this is pretty much our material. We have the same channels that we see in our standard uh, material editor. So we have our base, which is like your base color. You can uh, you know, put any color you want. And as you can see, it changes in the preview. Specular is your reflectance channel. Transmission is your, is your uh, transparency, like um, you know, glass or any kind of glass material. You have your subsurface scattering, coat, emission, which is like your luminous channel, and so on. And the basic idea is, is um, you know, note editing is uh, more visual, I would say. So if you want to drop an image or add an image to your uh, texture, you just look for an uh, image node. You drop the image node. It's going to ask you to plug in an image. So let's do the same fireplace. And uh, the only thing it's not going to do is going to it's not going to connect the image onto your material. So that's uh, you know that's what, where you come in. You have to take the image and uh, drag it on top of this blue uh, rectangle here. And now you just choose which channel. As you can see, you have all the channels that I named before, emission, specular, base color, and so on. So now you just uh, tell uh, Cinema 4D uh, Shader Network to uh, which channel you want to use for this image. So in my case, I'll do the same thing that I did in my uh, you know, default material editor. And as you can see, I'm going to plug it into color. And in our preview, as you can see, it switches um, the color that we had before, which was purple. Uh, to uh, image that I plugged in uh, in this shader or in this node. So now if I want to color correct this image, obviously, obviously I'm sure you know you would look for color correct node and you would drop uh, in between the two uh, nodes which is your material and your image. So now you just take your image, you plug the image onto the color correct and then from the color correct you'll plug it back onto the color uh, channel and now you can do the same thing that I showed you before let me just open it up inside our layer this was our second layer inside the uh, material editor in Cinema 4D and as you can see I had an option of um, you know change the hue of, of this image so now if we go back uh, to the uh, node editing this color correct node uh, does the same thing we have hue and saturation ga uh, gamma contrast and so on. And as you can see, it's basically, basically the same idea. We get to change uh, our hue and saturation using this node. And it's the same thing, three layers, image, color, cor uh, color correct layer, and then our material. And now, you know, the power comes in uh, when it comes to nodes. You can reuse the same image or the same texture, or the same you know, noise or whatever you're using multiple times. So if I use this image on my color channel, I can take this image, and drag it on top of my uh, specular channel or uh, in uh, Cinema 4D it's called reflecting channel so as you can see I can plug it in there so the same image is uh, working inside two different channels uh, you can hopefully you get the uh, basic idea how complex this can become you, you can drag and drop all kinds of things on top of each other and instead of being you know limited to let me just open uh, the standard material editor Instead of uh, switching around from channel to channel and from layer to layer, you can just uh, you know click on one node, tweak whatever you have to tweak, click on another node, tweak whatever you have to tweak, add another image, reuse that image multiple times, uh, stack different materials on top of each other, uh, you know mixing all kinds of stuff, uh, color cor correcting anything you want, and it's all inside uh, this uh, network, what they call it. And R20 is basically going to have the same thing. Obviously, it's going to look different from Arnold, 
uh, but the basic workflow and the basic idea is there. Uh, so hopefully this video uh, helped you guys in any way. Uh, I don't know if it was confusing or not, but hopefully it gave you the basic idea that the workflow uh, from nodes to a standard we're used to in R19, R18 is going to be the same. And you don't have to be afraid of switching in between or you know you can get the same result using the old method which is this and uh, you can get a better result if you're using this not only you get to tweak uh, your stuff faster and change your uh, stuff uh, faster like you know replacing images and so on uh, it's more visual and it's more you know it's more handy I would say I don't know how else you, you would explain it anyway guys thank you for watching as always um, have a nice day. Subscribe to my channel if this video helped you in any way. Uh, leave it a like, and uh, I will see you in my next video, guys. Uh, have a good day.